historically, uh, there were no other football fields that were anything other than green turf. And that's because when you have a natural grass field, it's green. But of course, when it's turf, it doesn't have to be green because it's not grass. Blue turf thinking is the willingness to be innovative and creative and try anything and try things that are going to challenge the status quo, being willing to be non-traditional. The only way to get ahead sometimes is to start ahead. So it just took some people sitting down together and saying, what would happen if we thought differently about this? What would happen if we broke outside the box and thought in different ways? That blue turf really matched that way of thinking, but we believe we do that in our research, teaching, and service mission. So our research, for example, chemists and physicists and folks from across the academic curriculum who usually aren't housed together, working on quantum DNA. And if Boise State solves for room temperature quantum computing, which is the problem they're trying to solve, it will literally change the world. But bringing those fields of study together is a way to do that blue turf thinking. How do we disrupt the boundaries and do things differently? It's both the joint effort of trying to improve academic rigor as well as include students who maybe aren't served by other institutions. So students come from rural backgrounds or are veterans or are uh, first generation students and kind of present this non-traditional student background. And I've seen it in play here at Boise State that there's a real effort to include these students and keep them growing along with the, the institution rather than exclude them in this race to chase rankings or prestige and we let our students tell us what they need but we've created special target areas to serve students so we look at those low income first generation you know high economic need rural students we look at them and we ask them what can we do to help Boise State feel more like home to you. You're home away from home. My like, first day of class, my advisor told me, she's like, you can be whoever you want to be here. It doesn't matter who you've been in the past. You're here, you're a Bronco now, and however you want to brand yourself, however you want to be, choose to be your ideal. And even if you don't believe it, that's what you are now. There's no doubt that, that being a wild horse and being a Bronco means something. Untamed spirit that's so much about being bold and brave and courageous. A wild horse is gonna find its way and it's not gonna to listen to the person that's hurting it or the fences that are placed around it. A wild horse is going to find its way beyond those fences. It goes back to the exceeding expectations. It goes back to being willing to think outside the box and do things untraditionally. And I want every student who sets foot on our campus to know that is possible for them. If only they will continue to recognize that light in them and to continue to understand that if they maintain that growth mindset, that every time they fail, it's an opportunity to learn and grow. Every time they struggle, they're actually developing their minds. That every time they take a risk and make a leap, whether they succeed or not, they're giving themselves the opportunity to develop. So the opportunity to come to a place like Boise State and serve a state like Idaho and serve our region is an opportunity to impact those young people so that they can change their lives and go out and bring their great ideas into the world.